Welcome back to Dirk Manage, the cosplay channel where we make cosplay props. So, we're going to be finishing up our flamer from the movie Alien. This is part two of this video. We're going to show you how to do all these nice bottles and all this dirty up detailing and stuff like that. So let's get on with building the rest of this flamethrower. Next, we're going to be making the fuel regulator. So this consists of a few pieces. We're going to start with all the dowel rod pieces first. This is three quarter inch dowel. And I've drilled a hole in the center of that one and on the side in line with the regulator. This was a tricky part. I had to cut down and then across on both sides to get that to look like that. And then let's see, this piece is three and a half inches in the Imperial British Standard Measurement. And then this one is four inches, a little over four inches. And then there's a hole drilled on the side of that one. About one inch. There's a hole drilled there. That is a quarter inch dowel that we're going to be using for various pieces. You're going to need a few of these. And then length, uh, what is the length of that one? Three inches, exactly. Cool, I didn't even measure it. And then this long one here is about almost seven inches. This is the one that's going to run down and then anchor in our water bottle. You're probably going to need a couple of these at different lengths. Depending on the kind of water bottles you're using, we might have to trim these off. All right, so assembly time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some dowel. Like I said, I need to get a second one. All right, I got it. So you are going to want to do something like this. And then you're going to take that one that's got the hole in the top like that. And you're going to feed it down in there like that. All right. Don't worry about that. I mean, if you have like a half round file or something like that, you can smooth that out. We're, we're, we're going to smooth it out using the paper clay because that's what we got. And it's a little bit easier since I don't have a proper setup right now to actually be cutting things with. That's how I got this boo-boo. So careful when you're making this. And then this piece here is going to be like this, okay? So we need to get another piece of dowel here. How are we going to... I'm going to have to drill down in there because we want to put that in there like that. Okay, so, jump. so what you want to do is be making something that looks a bit like that, all right? So how this is going to sit on the flamer is like this. One of the water bottles will be going down right here. This is going to be um, a regulator cap that's on this. And there's also going to be another reg regulator cap on the end of this. I need to make a piece of uh, craft foam that's going to extend off of here, all right? And that's pretty much all we need to do with that this up here I'm going to take a look at how much more we need to bend this like about like that so it's gonna be a little bit less than two inches but not much real easy real simple thing to do and then yeah it's lined up so once that dries we're gonna go ahead and shave off this so that way we can stick that regular cap on the end take some hot glue on that while it's still hot and just press it into place, hold it there until it starts to harden. Some hot glue in there, and there we go. I can't find my drill, so I can't drill out a hole in the bottom of that. Anyways, if you can, go ahead. So anyway, I decided that this is the best way to do this. I'm going to have to glue this on the bottom of this like that, so rather than threading it through, like, which is what I would like to do, I find it's not funny right now, I'm wearing a dust mask, just so you know, the sawing. sawing. Uh, anyways, so this is what I'm using, more of these uh, fractions of inches because uh, King Henry King Henry was a putz. Yeah, y'all didn't know the measurement system we use here in the United States is from England. Originally from England, and we were too lazy to change it. But anyways, so that's what you want to do is thread that screw through there like that, put that nut on the end, and then you want to hot glue that into place like that. Okay, so next what I did is I took the quarter inch, sorry, three quarter inch dowel rod, ran it down through the water bottle, hot glued it on the bottom, put hot glue on the end of it, slid it down, let it set, and then I put hot glue around the top part of there to hold that in place. Now, of course, like I said, we're going to paint it, so you're not going to be able to see that. Anyway, um, I can't drill a hole in the top right here, which I'd like to do, so that way I can feed it into that uh, other dowel rod in the other end of there. So we're going to have to hot glue all of that and then press this into place. Got some hot glue on there right there. And press it into place. And we need to put the next water bottle on, have this marked right here, so that way we can slide that one on next. Got a big nice gob of hot glue right there, starting to drip. 
take that slide it down line it up and there you go so just uh hold your finger there for a moment that way it stays and then you can go ahead and make some adjustments to the top part of this bottle to make it a little bit more stable all right so on the left side of the flamer we are going to be putting all those little accents and things on and stuff like that so I just cut that from a piece of cereal box. Anyways, even though I screwed up, we can still continue onwards with a few other pieces. So I can take this little piece right here, this half moon piece, and stick it right there. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming on that because it's, as you can see, overlapping a little bit, and we don't want that. So I can just cut that piece off like that. And like that, and it's not exact on how it is on the thing but it's close enough got a few other little pieces I'm going to use for uh, a couple of extra details and accents and stuff little random pieces of cardboard that really have no purpose whatsoever in life other than to look astoundingly amazing on a cosmic prop made entirely out of foam and cardboard and empty water bottles for the amazement of everybody on YouTube who can awe at my amazing craftsmanship skills and subscribe to my channel and that is the only reason why like that and yeah that part could have been a little bit more even but whatever I need to fix this little flappy thing too well odds and ends and stuff right here this is for making that vent on the side so you just want to cut out some pieces that look a bit like a ship for the one top piece and then every other piece down from that is going to be angled a little bit on the edges these are probably about four inches or so they're going to overlap like that so I'm going to show you how to assemble that and you're going to place this piece on top of that and then do the same thing with the next one and keep going down until you have all the pieces assembled when you're done you'll have something that looks a bit like that and then we're going to have uh, two little accents on the top of here which we have cut out down here ready to be glued onto the side Next little pieces that are going to go on the side are pieces that look like that. Again, those are probably a little under under four inches, give or take. And those are going to go right about here, and they're going to layer upwards. Because of me not paying any attention there, that's how, how that happened. But that's kind of how those will look. And then you'll end up putting them, um, I use like those little fake crystals along the edge of this to make little bumps. And then there's going to be a couple on here. We'll get that to that in a moment. Now I put a piece of craft foam around here just to cover up the threads. I still need to paint this red. This is going to be painted black. I need to paint this white. That's that split tubing that I talked about. This was some paper clay I cut in half and stuck on there. There's another little bottle cap here that will be painted black. The flame nozzle is going to be painted silver just like these dolls down here. I'm going to take this piece of air hose that I painted and I'm going to stick one end in here where I punched a hole and then the other end is going to loop back into here through the flamethrower body into another hole. Now for the detail with the bendy straw on the side, I just took two bendy straw joints, slid them inside of another bendy straw and then cut this to the proper size and then I'm going to be gluing that down and painting it white. For this antenna looking piece, all I did was took some craft foam, wrapped some tape around it to build it up a bit, and then wrapped tape around the rest of the dowel rod in separate sections. That's going to be painted white, and then it is going to be hot glued right there. Okay, we got a couple final pieces here. So we got this piece that I made out of a piece of toilet paper tube and craft foam. Not craft foam, like foam core board. And that's going to go like right there. All right, so get some hot glue on that. Real nice like that and stick it there and then we'll 
paint that white. It moved a bit. Move it back if it moves, but be careful. We don't want to burn yourself on hot glue like I have many, many times. And then this is the last final piece, that antenna looking thing sticking off the front. And I just used craft foam, wrapped it around the dowel, built it up with masking tape, and then that's how that was made. All right. And then that piece is going to go right about now. Okay, after we've painted all of our regulators, knobs, and have our details all glued down and painted, now it's ready to dirty everything up. So, just want to take a little bit of flat black paint, mix it up with some water, not too much, and then just kind of go over it in different areas to make it all look all grungy and used and like it's been through hell and battles and burning aliens and all kinds of like wars of interstellar galacticas and whatnot and fun stuff like that. You could do a little bit better the job than I'm doing here. I'm just doing all this one handed. Also what I did with the front of the nozzle here is I made it look a little bit more banged up. So I got like some of the uh, nickel plating kind of wearing off and showing the brass body underneath. As you can see on the original I did, it looks a bit better with being dirtied up. It looks more natural and I did it with a brush as well, but I kind of like wiped it away with cloth. So that'd be the best way to do that. Also, I put these picture frame hooks on the top there and on the top part of that so that way I can just put a bag strap on there and carry it around. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Thanks for watching how to make a alien movie flamethrower. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.